Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today we're gonna do a video of installing a wireless backup camera. But before we get started, I'd like to thank you for clicking on this video. And please don't forget to hit subscribe and the thumbs up. So let's take a look at the backup camera I bought. I got this off Amazon. Um, it's just a weird name, Fuku or something. It's very difficult to try and find anything good. You know, you read the reviews, do the best you can. Uh, so this is the setup that I bought. Uh, I chose one that had a license plate bracket on it. Uh, I thought that might be easier to install. Uh, it turns out it really isn't, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I was kind of impressed with this kit. Uh, this bracket here is actually metal. It's a pretty heavy duty metal too. Uh, I thought for sure it'd be plastic. So that's nice. Uh, it gives you some different mounting things. It gives you some wiring connectors here, which you may be asking yourself, why do you need wiring connectors if it's a wireless system? Well, I'm here to tell you that even the wireless systems need to be wired. Here is the little screen, and it just plugs into like a cigarette style 12 volt adapter thing in your truck uh, or car. Here's the wireless antenna. So uh, again, gives you a little cradle for that. There's some instructions here somewhere. Read this before you do anything type of thing. So this is what I bought and we're gonna install it in this video. So I did run into a little problem. Uh, I did do like a test fit on this before I started the video. And I'm gonna have to modify this bracket. Unfortunately, hang on a second. So unfortunately, I did not account for this goofy light that I have above my license plate. Um, so if you want to buy a style like this, double check and see where your light is that lights up your license plate because chances are this system may not work for you. So my options would be to uh, either send it back and buy a different system or to sort of modify this. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I will probably just put the camera in a different place. Okay, I, so I ended up cutting the camera out of this metal bracket because that was going to be the easiest way for me to do it. So just show you what I did here. I ended up mounting my camera above where the license plate goes. I actually think it'll be better up there anyway. Uh, down here was getting kind of low. I the main reason I want this is for hooking up trailers so you don't have to get in and out of the truck 8 million times to line up the ball with the coupler. So I do have to touch up the paint here on the edge where I made the, the cut and I have to adjust the camera yet. It's flexible. There's uh, two little Allen head screws there that you can tighten up. Um, so as far as the wiring goes, this is uh, you know wireless camera, but you actually have to wire it. So there's a couple different ways you can wire it. They give you these little connectors in here and what they expect you to do with them is to find, oops, sorry. <laughs> they expect you to find a wire running to one of your backup lights. And basically you put your wires in there, push that center piece down and then lock this over. It's not a very weather tight seal, so I don't really recommend using these unless whatever vehicle you're using has wiring that is not exposed to the elements. You know, it's in some kind of an enclosed cavity or whatever. Um, otherwise, you know, then it might be okay to use these, but I obviously didn't. But anyway, so you have to find uh, a backup wire that goes to one of your backup lights, you splice into it, and then when you put it in reverse, it provides power to the camera. I did mine different. I wanted to be able to check a load on the trailer um, anytime I wanted. So with my truck, I have what's called a 12 volt line that runs through this trailer plug and it provides 12 volt power to trailers. So like my dump trailer has a built-in charger on it. So that 12 volt wire will uh, recharge the battery on my dump trailer. So on the back side of this, I basically, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see up in there, I tapped into that 12 volt line. I still have to zip tie my wire up. But I tapped into that 12 volt line so that anytime I turn the camera on, um, 
in the truck, I will have the backup camera on. So if you wire it so it's on all the time like mine, not only could you possibly, I guess, wear it out a little faster, but you're always gonna have that little draw. So there's a little give and take to it. I'm gonna try it like this. If for some reason it doesn't work out, then I will just rewire it to one of the backup lights. Um, but we'll, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're here in the truck. I did not mount the little screen yet, but I will show you, be prepared for some beeping. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there is my garage door. I just have to find a place to mount the uh, little receiver, the little screen in here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. So this is pretty much done. Uh, there's all different ways you can mount these. They give you a little suction cup. They give you the little tray. I got to figure out where I'm going to put mine yet, uh, which is not an important part of the video. But uh, there you go. That is just a little bit about installing a wireless <laughs> backup camera in your vehicle. Not a direct how-to, but hopefully it helps a little bit, a little bit of guidance for you if you decide to do this. All right, slight change of plans. I... It's the next day after you saw the previous clip in this video, and I decided that I did not want the camera on all the time. Um, I was thinking that the 12 volt line that I had connected to would um, basically shut off or lose power when the truck was off, and it does, does not. It has 12 volt power to that trailer uh, plug 24 hours a day. So that means that camera was gonna be on 24 hours a day. So. What I did is I ran a wire, there's all my zip ties on the floor. I ran a wire from the front to the back and I tied in, uh, Ram has these upfitter or outfitter, upfitter switches in the cab and you connect to them here. There's two little plugs, ports, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this first one that's here was for my lights. That's where that got tied into that you have seen me install already. And the second one I just added is switch number two, and that will turn off and on the camera. So let's take a peek here in the cab. I have to have the key on or my little uh, accessory plug thing here doesn't work. So there's the, there's the thing lit up. So here's the screen. So let's go to uh, auxiliary two. We'll come back over here, and I know it's not terribly clear, but there's my garage door. And we'll come over here and hit the button, and boop, it goes back out. So, now we'll turn this, this stuff off. So that's what I decided to do, was use auxiliary switch two, and then I can just turn it on and off whenever I want, and it won't wear the uh, poor cheap camera out. So. Uh, stay tuned for a second. The last clip of this video is going to be us backing up to a trailer and just testing out to see the location of the camera because it is adjustable. All right, everybody, we're going to give this a quick test test out here. I actually have the camera on. We're going to pretend like we're backing up to a trailer. I just want to see what it looks like here. That looks like it's gonna work pretty good. I don't have the ball receiver in the back of the truck in the hitch right now. I don't know why my camera does, or my phone does that. This is why I don't like filming on my phone. Do you see that? Does anybody else have trouble with that? Okay, so that will conclude this video here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something. Uh, maybe you found out that one of these little cameras would be right for you. Who knows? Anyway, any uh, questions, comments, leave them down below. Please don't forget the thumbs up button, the subscribe button. And uh, I hope I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.